<coughs> Howdy. 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 <laughs> that, that, that was a really good, like, low southern howdy that you, that you did with Dallas. I, have to, I have, to, have to get into character. Like, I, I love westerns. I just, like, love them. Good I shit. Lot, so, I mean, then you're in the right place for good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This I mean, that good. might not be my character, though, right? Because there's, like, that big random element you were telling us about. So I might not be, like, tough guy, like gunslinger i might be i might like be a, a lot of different or something like, oh! yeah it might be anything right yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. this is epic yeah you <laughs> got us in a little thing and all that yeah it's, it's pretty oh, cool hey. right well welcome to the saloon well <laughs> welcome to my to my gun shop Ooh. i bought this on Thank booth <laughs> probably yeah. senpai pass the coffee right there i'm feeling a little a little sleepy yeah i better wake the fuck Get up <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll pass the pass the bottle of moonshine over there real quick. Oh, I best. got a really long little silly straw. <laughs> <laughs> with with your long arms. Inside. Anyway, welcome to welcome everybody to Gun, the first episode of Gun, um, a fantastic, <laughs> wild, weird Western TTRPG created by Abaddon. If you guys want to check out the full rule book be sure to check out uh, abaddon's patreon link in the description below uh guns lots of fun i would consider it yeah an, an indie ttrpg i guess um western style i showed it to these guys they seem to like it so mm -mm. though did you guys read the the rule book did you guys prepare yourself you know i read all of the short one and then i'm like halfway through the full one that yeah. you said okay and i'm gonna read like everything I'm getting into character. Ah, I see. I, ain't, no, I, I don't know how to. I don't know. I don't know how to read. They don't have books in the West. I am the manual. I, I just know. <laughs> it's just. It's just whatever Crony says goes. Basically, gotcha. All right, I understand. Now, J.K. I read a little bit of it. There's yeah. cards and there's this and that, and I get mm. a hat. Yes, everybody gets a hat and a gun. the most important one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the aesthetics. Before we get into the meat of it, though, how about everybody introduces themselves for <clears throat> for everyone unfamiliar with these with these fellers over here, these cap hoaks. Yeah. Go ahead and introduce yeah. yourselves. We'll start with Crony. Oh, yes. Kuranichiwa. This is Oro Crony from Hollow Live English Council. And I wanna shoot everyone except Callie. Yay! Uh, uh, Girl, Sick. Okay. we're besties. Okay. Yeah. How about you? Uh, what about how about you, Mag? Hello, everyone. My name is Magni Desmond, aka the Great Magni Desmond, self-proclaimed cowboy. <laughs> I Today. guess cowboy alchemist from here on out. <laughs> uh huh. And uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I, I'm. I'm trying to decide if i'm gonna talk with an accent but i don't want to be that guy and i don't want to be 30 minutes into a session being like ah oh, crap now i don't want to talk in the accent anymore yeah but then yeah. then it's all cringe if i like drop it all of a sudden because like ah he knows he knows you gotta commit to <laughs> the we'll bit see. yeah exactly mm -hmm. also depends on what you roll right true what do you mean well what if you get foreigner yeah. or something yeah like yeah like <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm talking about a Western accent. What are you talking okay, about? Okay, well, I'm just saying, there's the possibility. Am I Italian? Is that what you mean? Am I like an immigrant or something? I don't know, maybe you will be. Who can say? It all depends on the roll of the dice and the cards. Okay. So, you never know. All right, well, you never know. here's hoping you roll something good, I guess. <laughs> well, actually, the big deals are decided by the cards, believe okay. it or not. But yep, yep, yep. we'll be making a lot of other rolls uh, throughout our time playing Gun as well. Um, but that that all gets into the character creation bit. Anyway, we need to introduce Vesper, because it's not like he's not here. It's just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank he's you for here. inviting me. You're welcome. He's hello, not hello. here. I'm... Yes. Okay, yeah. Hello everybody, my name is Vesper, the resident scholar of the Adventures Guild Tempest and a member of All the Stars English, and I love TTRPGs. I love them. And I love Westerns, so I'm like stoked Perfect. thinking about this all week. You're in, the, you're in the right place. You're Wait, I was gonna say Scallywag, that's pirate. <laughs> Scallywag! <laughs> I, should, I ought to stick to cowpoke. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my fellow cowpoke. Yeah, my goal is to not get shot, but we'll see where that... 
<laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, I yeah. mean, uh, who could say? I mean, this game is called Gun. Everyone has a gun. Um, but what I really like is that in the rule book, um, when it talks about like risky actions and whatnot, it does say violence is always a risky action. So let's avoid violence if at all possible. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe possibly, yeah. potentially. Perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe. So. I guess I'll go ahead and get get things started by just sort of introducing some things to you guys, the background. So basically, uh, you, uh, you came to the West to find out who you really are. You might come uh, at making a character here with an idea of who you are already, and that's just fine and dandy, but I am going to ask you to find some stuff out about yourself that you might not know, and that's just the way of things, as in, we're going to be randomly rolling a lot of stuff for, for y'all's characters. So, um, there is a space in the West for someone to make a life out here to escape their past and start anew, to clear their debts, a lot of air, land, and space, good land, fertile and beautiful. Problem is, the West is dying. They say the West is dying like 50 times in this, in this book. I it's think just that important. Is, it's just that important that you know that the West is dying. Mm. Um, so the introduction to Gun says in big capital letters, the West is dying. Uh, not the actual land, that's still here for now. Not the people either, they're mostly thriving, but the idea, the concept, the open space. The emptiness is being filled in. The potentials are collapsing. The oil rigs are going up. The train tracks are going down. The law is moving in. You came out here for the same reason the others did, to seek a new life, to run away from something, to seek your fortune, to eke that little bit out in the West that's worth having. Problem is, the West is dying. Uh, don't don't come in no with way. <laughs> an idea of who your character is. The West will change you. Okay, so here are three important facts about your character. First, you are an outlaw, an outlaw, and part of a posse, a posse that you guys will be making together. Actually, all right. Uh, second of all, you've got debts, and you are trying uh. to retire. So. Oh, relatable. <laughs> relatable, yeah. Real relatable game. Oh, wow. Gotta hit me where it hurts. Uh, third and most importantly, most importantly, what do you think is the most important thing? You might be reading the document. What do you think it is? I got a gun. You got gun. a gun! gun! Pow, pow! <laughs> oh, God! You got a gun! <laughs> anyway, um, so I am the narrator of this game. Uh, Calliope Mori, here's the narrator. I will make the judgment calls, facilitate the rules. Um, we're not going to be doing much with territory just because this is a one shot. Um, but in the event that we were doing more EXP territory, that would be stuff that I'd help with. But this is a one shot, so we're just going to focus for now um, specifically on making characters. That's what this here stream is about today. Um, and because, then to tomorrow yeah. we're doing the one shot the, the actual game the actual yeah. game that's right but first we got to right. set up characters so i can make a scenario for you guys um because i like to make up scenarios depending upon the characters that are thrown down into the down into the the ring my ring of torture i mean my <laughs> ring of my <laughs> ring of my ring of exciting adventures in the west um so mm. basically uh, you're an outlaw um, that doesn't mean that you're you're a, a criminal or a thief at heart or cold-blooded killer, uh, but you could also be those things. Um, you're also not the type of person who keeps their head down and their nose out of trouble, otherwise we wouldn't be telling the story, so that pretty much makes you an outlaw. So, get used to that. You guys are outlaws. Um, you're also not from around here. Nobody is really, but you especially haven't been here for very long, and you, you guys travel as a posse. Okay. Pretty much. So get ready to be working together. You guys will not be enemies unless, I don't know, unless you want to be enemies and hurt each other in the game. I can't really stop you, I guess. <laughs> no, no. We it's it's rough out here. We got to we got to yeah. stick together. Yeah, yeah. I don't you know. know. Who knows? Well, <laughs> Crony doesn't see, know. I, I, see. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, we got to we got to work together. Uh when I guess I, it's to we my were, we're we're getting ready for this. Mm. Literally I'm sitting I'm I'm eating my my dinner in the voice chat. Vesper joins. <laughs> Crony Senpai joins. I, I, I forget what you said exactly. But you, you literally said like, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what? that. What? <laughs> what? Oh, right, right. Something like, this is where we're I'm going. I'm shoot you and then I'm going to shoot reputation. myself. We haven't even, we haven't even made the characters the yet. session of all time. Something <laughs> like that, right? We have not even begun. <laughs> you, it's just, just, Soiling my reputation here, I have never 
said such a thing, I do not remember. Wow. All right, well. I was there too. Uh -huh. A little too yeah. soon, crony. We've barely no. gotten into the shit. Hold on, I, I have a contact falling out. Damn it. It's not me. Hmm. I don't know. Wait, so. So, you know, you, you said we're not doing like territories hmm. and all this stuff, but are you going to talk about the setting? Like, is this the West? Like, oh, it takes yeah. place in like America in the oh, West? Yeah. Or is it just like a generic Western? No, it's the American West. Oh. For mm. sure. But I feel like I'll be able to more accurately introduce the exact setting once we begin the session. All right. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. the Ameri American West. Deep Depends American on the characters West. that we roll, right? Exactly. I'll kind of want to yeah. change the, change up the story depending on, you know, what kind of pawns I have yeah. to play with. You feel okay. me? Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I bet you guys are probably wondering with your characters, why are you here? Well, it's actually really up to you, but loosely speaking, it's going to have to do with making money. And it always is. Um, your goal in the West is to get rid of your debts, get away from your past, put as much cash away as you can and retire, buy a little homestead somewhere, a piece of land away from the killing, the dying, and everything in between. And maybe that'll buy you some peace, or maybe not. We just don't know. Um, but let's figure out who you are right now, okay? Uh, there are a lot of details that we're going to have to figure out, so this will take a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I think that the, the way that we should start this off is to figure out everybody's big deal, okay? Um, <laughs> everyone's <laughs> big ol' <laughs> big <laughs> deal. Uh -huh. What's the big deal? So I'm glad it's randomized. I'm glad that, like, one person in our posse, like, can't choose their big deal and it's yeah. randomized. Exactly. Yeah. So you, you're really going to need to learn how to play the type of character that you get. Um, now, the way that we actually figure out uh, everybody's big deal is not not through rolling dice. No, 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 no. We use cards for this. Um, oh, is that what that is down there? <laughs> yeah, it's a little deck of cards. Now, one oh, thing that's okay. kind of rough is that typically in the game, <laughs> I think they kind of assume um, that you guys are all together like IRL with like cards in your hands and like you can separate the cards and whatnot. Basically mm -hmm. what I'm supposed to do um, is separate the cards into suits, right? And then have you guys pull from two different suits. So for example, I separate all the heart cards, all the spade uh -huh. cards, all the diamonds, all the clubs. And then I have you guys, you know, pull one from each of those. One of those is gonna be the big deal for you character big deal basically and the other i believe is your gun's big deal because your gun is just as much of a character <laughs> as you are apparently so the big deal is like our defining trait for our character basically exactly is that, is that what it is okay exactly okay. precisely so we've got gun big deals and character big deals so instead of worrying about the suits and whatnot I'm just going to ignore them. <laughs> We're just going to ignore them and use the cards okay. here. So, who will start? Who wants to figure out their character right I'll now? I'll go first. Step aside. The great Magni Desmond wants to go first. I'm about to get a fatty draw. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but awesome. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, so first things first is we're going to go ahead and draw for you. This is your character's archetype. You can pull, you can choose to pull Mulligan one time, which means if you really don't like the character that you get, you get one last chance. Okay? Or you can okay, trade with okay. someone else. That is allowed, actually. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. That is a thing you okay. can do. So the great Magni Desmond's character is... Well, I pulled the Joker, so let me see... Let me see what awesome. that gives us here. What? I now have a squirt gun and one of those hats with a propeller on it. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking sucks. Okay. Um. <laughs> all right. Black eyes is uh, is your big deal. Let what? me let me read this. All right. You can put a bullet in anyone that runs away from you or surrenders to you without rolling. <laughs> you can Ooh. you can put a bullet in anyone that trusts you without rolling. <laughs> You can't take psychological conditions such as afraid, etc. Okay, so I'm a psychopath. <laughs> you, have, you have the cold-blooded killer reputation. Awesome. You can, I can oh kill people God. when they surrender so to jealous. me or they're, they have their back turned, and uh, I'm a psychopath. <laughs> you, can, you can never lose this reputation. Folks can just tell that you're a cold-blooded killer. That I ain't right. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. 
so I, I can I can execute people when they are at the weakest. <laughs> Cold blood. Exactly. All right. I can um I can sh what was it? I can shoot my friends. Is that yeah? What the, anyone what that trusts part? you. If someone trusts you, anyone you can that shoot them. Trusts me without well, rolling. Well, Vesper's dead. I think. Well, based on this, I don't. Who's gonna trust? Who's gonna trust me based on that? Okay. And the last part was was what i must i have no fear? emotions what was the, oh i don't i don't fear you can't take psychological conditions or damage I, like being afraid that's crazy ha, you're immune to fear brownie. wow no that's emotional cool. damage that's insane yep okay Cold and, and what and, and i have like two black eyes like I got <laughs> that's just punched. what it's called <laughs> that's just what the i'm gonna big assume deal is that called. that's like i assume that it's like my trait i'm gonna i'm so i have two black eyes Okay. Sure. Oh, I am. I imagined like you know, like the like the hollow eye like anime look, like the oh, like oh yeah, the dude from Gorilla, like the emotionless, like <laughs> like like every a lot of the characters in, in <laughs> Golden Kamui, like they have like the dead eye look, right? Okay, like, I got, I got right. dead eyes. Yeah, yeah. Very trustworthy. Okay. Surrenders. Terraformers. Trust. Yeah. Trust. Okay. Sick. So you. that's me. That's like no actually kind of crack. With no yeah, role. that is pretty good. Yeah, be yeah. jealous. Yeah, Execute that's crazy. Those closest to me. Yeah, and yeah. people who are already beaten. You don't even have to roll anything. You just put you just put a bullet in them. <laughs> well, if they're walking away or surrendering, I. Aren't my chances to execute them pretty high? I mean, that is true. But also, if you're just talking to your friend, you can just shoot them. And like your friend can maybe like maybe see that it's gonna happen. Oh yeah. man! Oh no! What's happening? Magni Desmond's gonna shoot me, but you just do it. You can't I miss also, it. Wait. I think according to the rules, though, like every violent action mm. is risky by yes. default, right? Correct. So, so the fact that you could just skip that risky action and yeah. just like kill them immediately is yeah. like kind of crazy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's lucky. Just turn anyone. Yeah. Yeah, well, you we can don't... just finish yeah. the game in 10 minutes. <laughs> <Did you> just <laughs> kill them. <laughs> just oh, Magni. As as, does my gun have three bullets in it? Um, I don't know. We're going to have to pull for your we gun's defend, big deal yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's figure out what your gun's big deal is, yeah? All right. Uh -huh. So let me go shuffle the cards again. Here I go. Going to shuffle the cards. All right, <laughs> shuffle. All right, they're shuffled. Now, here's your gun's big deal. A six, which means the hunter. All right. Ooh. This one is the hunter. You get plus one D. That's a, that's plus one dice on a shot where you can brace your gun, hold your breath, remain still, and aim down sight. If someone's within about thirty paces of you or closer, you get minus one D on shots, which means you're really <laughs> only much of a long shooter. So I see. <laughs> even though okay. you have this cold-blooded killer thing, right? You can't use this gun at all if anyone's close I'm, enough to touch you. I'm like you. a I'm like a sniper. Yeah. You're literally Ogata, you... dude. My favorite character. Right, Ogata from what? From from Golden Kamui, the sniper, and he's got the dead eyes too. I'll show you him afterwards. He's That's like kinda he's cool. awesome. He's okay. my favorite character. That's kind of yeah. cool. What's your gun? Be killed the by your hunter. favorite character. The hunter. <laughs> what? Do I mean, what if? <laughs> what if I don't so trust him? Right, depends on my character. <laughs> like, it's very pessimistic, crony. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's my middle name. So if, they're, if they're far away, I'm, I'm. It's more accurate. Is that like? So yeah. I'm just a. I'm just a better shot if they're farther away. Yeah. Plus and then, yeah, well, exactly. And then if if there are people around me, I'm. Worse. Is it like if if my target is near me or like I think it said just just people in general are around me? Uh, people in general around you. See, this kind of okay. defeats the purpose of if you just want to shoot your friend and you're like having a chat with them, you know. However, however, actually thinking about it, you're and that's kind of overruled by the fact that you can just shoot them without rolling. Rolling doesn't even matter. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I mean, okay. you kind of got a good deal to be honest. All Not right. Bad. It's kind of a good combo. This. Okay, all right. All right. Does it describe what my gun looks like? Not yet. That comes oh. a bit later. Ooh, okay. Mm. Right, that comes later for everyone. But right now, we're just figuring out everybody's big deals. All right. Yeah. And there's probably like a trading round if we want to, because we exactly. have the option. But if not, we move forward. Got it. Yes. Okay. You guys may trade if you wish. Now, who will be next to figure out their character's big deal? Mm, I could go next. You want Vess okay, next? Vess. All right, Vess. Yeah. Let's see what you get. So let's go right back up to characters. Do you do you have anything in mind that you want, or are you just kind of completely? Open? I I 
I want it to be like completely open and I will like adjust my character like based on like what I roll. And I then I'm like Gotcha. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm gonna mulligan. I'll just go with whatever, nice. whatever happens. Alright, that's yeah. respectable. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go. This is your character. You've rolled a we've pulled a five, which means you are salt of the earth. You are oh. a gourmand, a rambler, and a folk healer. You can cook up a gumbo <laughs> stew or other hearty what? family recipe dish a cook. and bring it with you on the job. Its primary ingredient is D6-1 game meat, two root vegetable, beans or lentils, juicy mutton, freshwater shrimp, pumpkin. That's incredible. <laughs> what? I'm in. You're, I'm the cook. You're the cook. <laughs> Let him the cook. Deal? What, what, what do they He's gonna do? Cook. Like, what's important? They cook for the party. So when you're taking a breather, when you guys are chilling and whatnot, have a little time to eat, you can share your stew with anyone at present and can restore one grit. Yo. You want to restore your grit. Yeah. That, and also, additionally. It's actually awesome. Okay, you can ask okay. one question of any one person who shares a meal with you anytime and they must answer truthfully to the best what? of their ability. <laughs> Wait, what? They have to. Uh -huh. They have to answer you because you you cook you have a so good. Stew? I, put a, I put a church serum into my stew. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's just a, yeah, 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 yeah. I it's like kinda, it. Yeah. What was like the qualifier for that? Cook. Like he can do it once every something. Like what was that again? So, um, you can ask one question of any one person who shares a meal with you. And that, mm. it looks like, hold on a sec. Yeah, if you like give your stew to someone, but the way that I'm kind of in interpreting it here is if you guys just eat together at any time, they yeah. have to answer truthfully to the best of their ability. One time, one question per meal. The effect can't oh. be resisted, it can't. Wow. Yeah, additionally, you have excellent okay. taste and can always easily assess the quality, price, and flavor profile of food or drink. Oh, 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 oh baby. Yeah. Wow. I'm in. I like yeah. it. Yeah, salt of the earth. Salt of the earth. Salt that's of a, the earth. That's a really appropriate title. <laughs> Can cook anything. So basically, you are the cook. That's kind of fun. Wow. I like it. Cook up a gumbo, like a stew. Um, I'm ready to build a character around that. Nice. Interrogator chef sounds really yes. cool. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking, I wonder if, if we could, like, metagame that, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, we're sitting at a campfire, and, like, there's a dude we need to interrogate, and there's, like, a gun to the back of his head, and he's like, eat this stew. <laughs> and it's like, uh, and they eat the stew, it's like, now answer my question. But, like, I don't think that's the right way, I don't think, I don't think that's the spirit of the character, right? right. It's more like, I feed them, and they're, like, more inclined to be, like, friendly to me, and they will answer one question truthfully, oh, like, right? right? Like, we got them strapped yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not <laughs> going to metagame it. I don't, I don't like metagaming. I like the idea of, like, the character. Uh, there's right. Like, and, then, and then we can't do that to an enemy, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, if the enemy was worst, eating funny, with though. you, then for whatever reason, you might be able to make it happen. Right, right, but, right, right. But that's, yeah. yeah what if we to be the nice guy and, like, offer them food, and then they just fess up? Oh, uh, that could work. That could work. That is true but enough. But I, I like it. I'm, nice. I'm sticking with that. I like awesome. it a lot. Awesome. So you are salt what's, of the earth. Excellent. Next up, what's, we've what's got gun? your gun. Your gun's big deal. First, let's go ahead and shuffle up these cards. All right? Yes, yes, yes. Now, your gun's big deal is Ace, which is the, the legacy. Your gun has a history. You can invoke oh. the legacy of your gun to succeed automatically on any role involving swindle, straight talk, or class, but get a debt to the legacy. Oh, a debt what to the legacy. The? While you have a what? debt to the legacy, you can't use this ability again. You can get rid of a ah. debt to the legacy by winning a gun duel. It can't be settled any other way. If it comes calling, someone shows up to duel you. Dude, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Jeez, I, I have like huh. just I have like a musket <laughs> that yeah. shoots far, and Vesper's thing is like curse god object. <laughs> curse what is god <laughs> gun? <laughs> it's like a it's like a wingman with a legendary skin to it, right? Here's also it's a bit nice. of flavor. Pulling back your jacket, coat, or cloak to show your gun forces everyone in the room to stop what they are doing for a few moments and look. Oh, okay, oh. okay. They have to. They have I to like look it. at it. It's the legacy gun. <laughs> it's it the big iron epic. on my hip. The I legacy like it. gun. All right, so I'll go ahead and write this down for you. The I legacy. Love it. Nice. I can, I can build a character around this. It's good. All right. I mean, the, hey, legacy gun is actually super good because you can... uh invoke the legacy to get like some really good bonuses it's not a shooting gun yeah. yeah it's not a shooting gun right it's yeah. like uh it's a gun that helps you with like other a, shit 
it's a prestige gun. Like people look at it and be like, oh. Okay. Exactly. Say that you're yeah, like yeah, trying yeah. to swindle some guy and you really don't think that you have enough like uh, dice to do it properly. Just succeed right. automatically, but then you have a debt to the gun. Yeah, and I have to then actually have to fight someone and win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. that is hard, but I feel like I feel like you'll do it proud. All right. Now, finally, we've got the old the old crownster here. All righty. All right. I wonder what kind of gun you are going to get. I'm kind of curious too. Yeah, but first, what kind of character is Crony? Let's find out, shall we? Crony, I'll shuffle one more time just for good measure. Crony got the two, and the two is the kid with the golden arm. You're young, but, you're young, but you've got a hell of a talent for killing. <laughs> <laughs> You're not exactly a child, but you ain't exactly an adult either. You've got a hell of an arm. You can spend your card to put a bullet in anyone or anything in hollering distance that you can see without throwing down. Throwing down is like, you know, having to having to roll dice. Unless the narrator also spends a card of equal or higher value, no one can spend grit or do anything to avoid that bullet. It always hits its target, and if you kill someone or think you killed someone, get the traumatized bad condition. I'm dead. He's over. <laughs> she's the she's Angelina Jolie from Wanted. Oh my god. It's like ten minutes into tomorrow and I just like gotta pack up and leave. My my legacy as a cook is just over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have like these. Wait, haunted, wait, like... do I get traumatized if I successfully kill someone? Yes. Aw oh, darn. Yeah, I know, pretty sad, oh, right? Not me, baby. Or if you think you killed someone, you get traumatized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think you killed someone. You're talented at killing, but you'll get traumatized from it. I saw so, so that. I know, right? <laughs> you kill anyone then. You want to re-roll it? No, it's gonna, it's okay. I'll just gonna, I'll know, just wait for that one. Like, ding, 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 ding. Crony, <laughs> Crony, last night you accidentally killed fifty-five people. <laughs> <laughs> no! It's, it's true! You got drunk and killed 55 people! Oh my god. It just explodes. I could you I could use the the legendary gun to, to <laughs> swindle like to like like basically G like the kid into thinking that they killed Crony someone. the kid. Crony the kid. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Also you're so probably like, like 17 or something. You're young. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I literally interpret that as you having like a cool, like, Full Metal Alchemist golden arm, like a steampunk arm. Yeah. That's literally Ooh. what I'm imagining. Oh, like in Edward Elric. Uh -huh. Yeah. See, here's the thing about this one is that you can shoot real good, and the idea isn't that shooting equals automatically killing someone, if you think about it mm. that way. You know, you're good at shooting, um, and that's, that's what you're gonna do. You're not necessarily gonna try to kill people, Oh, but if you do, you will be traumatized, so get ready for that. Uh, true. You could, like, try to disarm them, like, shoot the gun shoot out of the their leg. hand, like, yeah. a, like a wild western. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, can I get traumatized in a way where, like, you know, I would go crazy and kill anyone that I want? Um, no, I don't think that's how it works, but... I mean, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, of course you would ask that. Of course. Just, just hypothetically. Just your enemy, crazy. all your enemy needs to do is just, like, fall to the ground and go, like, oh, You got me! Oh. <laughs> and then you're, you're just traumatized. Oh, well, like, they're not dead, so it wouldn't be traumatized over that, like, as long as you're alive. So, wait, I have True a question. Enough. So yeah. if I shoot for their leg or something, and you know for sure that they're not going to die, like, mm. are they still going to be traumatized? No. No, of course okay. not. Just killing. They just killing, die. folks. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's the West. Can we have them Neil Sporin. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, a shot to the leg is still kill someone. You never know. True. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. just put a little Neosporin on it. Yeah. Just put a little <laughs> yeah. Band-Aid. Some rubbing it's alcohol just... ought to do, do the trick. Crony's gun's about to be like, Neosporin doesn't work or something. <laughs> oh yeah, the gun. <laughs> Every time you shoot someone, they have to die. <laughs> Watch her get like an op, and it's like you shoot them in the leg and they die. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That would be hilarious. All right, let's shuffle the cards one more time. Here's the gun. Seven, the sledgehammer. Just, oh 
Destroy any what? object within about spitting distance of you that you can see, not held or worn. Obvi alternatively, oh. blow through any non-reinforced door, window, or other similar obstruction. You're Fortnite, crony. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. This sounds like a shotgun. You're literally yeah, Fortnite. Yeah, I think so. It sounds like a coach gun, like a yeah. double barrel shotgun. That sounds badass. Yeah, oh it's God. pretty cool. I gotta yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. So, I have a high accuracy, high high accuracy rate, right? Yeah. Or like, it's not even high, isn't it? Just like guaranteed. You just do it, it's guaranteed. So I just throw my sledgehammer at someone and they die? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You can, in addition to like that, you have the ability to like bust down like objects. That, yeah. I think it said like that mm. aren't attached to people or people are holding. So uh, I think that's saying like buildings and structures. Right. That's essentially what that alludes to. Break uh, anything. Okay. I'm also imagining like if if like you shoot like the leg of a water tower, like in a town, <laughs> yeah. like destroy the leg and the water tower will like yeah. fall over and create mm -hmm. like a ruckus, right? Mm -hmm. That sounds really cool. Yeah, exactly. Sounds awesome. Exactly. Oh. You can do stuff like that. That's okay. pretty strong. This is like a cracked party. And yeah. I'm just a cook and I love it. <laughs> just, the, <laughs> just the cook. Yeah, I, mean, I like it. I don't know. The, the cook is very important, you know, getting the truth out of people. It's interesting because I would I would have seen it the opposite way. I feel like initially I would I would see like Dez as being the really social one instead of like the, the, the cold blooded killer. <laughs> but Vess has to be the social one this time, so good luck. I'm ready. I'm wait, ready. Wait, wait. Can mm. can I still mulligan? Oh. Oh yeah, if you want to. You want to mulligan? Uh, yeah, I want to mulligan my gun because Oh. These guys I see. got epic guns and I just have like well, hold, a gun on, that hold on a second, a cowboy. Far. Hold on a second. <laughs> That's not pretty cool. I'm 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 open to a trade. Ooh. Oh. I'm open to a You're trade. Trading guns here? No. No. Okay. <laughs> All I right. Want, I, well, I want to get. I want to get a new gun first and see. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. That sounds good to me. Well, let's go ahead and uh, see what your other gun looks like. This is your. This is your only mulligan, by the way. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because so we, we have go. the mulligans and no one's going to use it. I'm going. I'm going to use it. I'm going to see. All right. Well, let's go ahead and see what you get. Okay. He's a betting you, man. All right, I'm not gonna allow this. I'm not gonna allow another legacy gun. Fuck Hell that. Yeah! No, I'm not go oh, no, no, I don't. I disallow it. Oh. I disallow it as the narrator of this story. Dang it. You got. Okay. Is this the sledge? No. Okay. Solid iron. Solid iron. Okay. Your gun never jams or misfires. Uh, if you lose wow. your gun, you always somehow get it back in your holster one minute later. I got I got the Thor gun. The Thor ever gun. Thor I was just thinking that. That's insane. Your gun will not fire for anyone else other than you. Oh, that's I. Li it's the Thor. It's like gun. a it's a Judge Dread gun too, right? Mjolnir. Like that's awesome. I got the Mjolnir. Wow. That's mine. Can you and then, name it Mjolnir. <laughs> get this. <laughs> get this. Your gun feels itchy when someone is about to betray you. <laughs> Oh, okay. And that person is you. <laughs> <laughs> About to get betrayed. Dude, All right. that, that's, that's a, a dub. That was worth. Yeah, that's a solid gun. Very solid. Solid iron. <laughs> that's the name I think, of the like, gun. The unique Dang. nature of every single weapon is like super cool. Just got a curiosity. <laughs> Can we see what like his legendary like would have been like it was like ace of hearts or something i'm kind of like see. curious the uh one second the the legacy one yeah the one that you disallowed it was just the oh it's the same as one, yours no? it's the same oh, as yours same one? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. two legacy guns yeah. okay no yeah, 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 yeah. then that makes different. sense yeah. yeah so that's that's your new gun des heck Solid yeah iron that was worth that was worth very nice so these are your characters everybody these are their basics we still have a lot to decide on though uh for example let's go ahead and figure out you guys' starting reputations all right starting rep do you guys Ooh. know how to use roll 20 by chance i do yeah yeah all right excellent because that's what we'll be using to to make some rolls here for you guys so essentially for example, let's see. I want to I want to go ahead and see what my starting reputation would be. So you're going to need to roll a D100. Okay? Got, I, so, I see. for example, I'm going to roll a 1D100 and see what I get. 
right? So I got a 37. So I look at the chart here and it says purveyor or indulger of vice is my reputation. People know me as being a hoe or maybe very greedy <laughs> or gluttonous or all of those things at the same time. Okay. Yeah, that would be my reputation. So how about you guys go ahead and roll okay, okay. I, your 1D100s. Launch the game, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. We could do an order, right? The original order that we did. So Des yeah, first. sure. Go okay, ahead, so, Des. Yeah. Uh, rolling one D one hundred. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Or D one hundred. I just find. All right. Let's see what you get. Come on. A bing. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. It's slash. It's slash roll. Oh yeah. Oh, slash I R O L I said it. Sorry, you sorry. Said yes. You have to use slash roll. Slash roll. Slash roll. 78. Yeah, yeah. All right. You are known as being pious. Oh. What? <laughs> Dude. Pious. What the actual hell is your character? <laughs> You're a cold blooded killer. <laughs> what do you kill in the name of God? Like a dog? That's terrifying. <laughs> kind of scary. He, can, he yes. kills in the, in the name of God. <laughs> my character just it's like really changed up in my head from just a, a minute ago. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> now the character is getting more complex. So if anyone, if anyone doesn't know, pious means like like a very religiously <laughs> devoted person. You just shoot them in the back or you shoot your friends. It's crazy. <laughs> what? That makes Lord, it, that, I am that sending a friend act, to that, you. You know what? That synergizes so well because like for, for someone to make those choices to like Betray uh, their friends, uh, you know. You have to be like absolutely convinced that only you're right. The word of God uh, yeah. to do that. Yeah. You're like an evil priest or something. That's Crazy. Terrible. Yeah. Let's see. I'll go ahead and let's see. So for your reputation, let's see what folk think of you. Mark a box for plus one D if it helps or minus one D. Uh, let's see if it. I think it. You know what? Reputations can be invoked like deals for plus one dice or minus one dice on relevant actions, usually social ones. So, for example, maybe someone really believes whatever you're saying, Des, because you're you're known to be, you know, a real God fearing man, and and God fearing men are trustable. So I'll go ahead and give you a plus one plus one dice for that. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, cool. You're a cool. Like, fear and I man. He never though. lies. He's yeah. like terrifying, but he like never lies. It's exactly. Like so freaking cool. Yeah. All right, next up we got Vess. Go That's ahead and scary. give us a roll, Vess. Roll yep. for us. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Roll D 100. Hey, I got the same one. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> you want me to do another one? Your call. Your call. Uh, let me see. You know what? I am going to... Wait, you got 37. That's yeah, not I got the, same. the exact same. Oh, it's not? No, he oh, got okay. 78, which was pious. 37 oh. is purveyor. No, no, this... or... oh, no, 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 like, same as yours. Oh, as mine? Yeah, example purveyor, yeah, yeah, yeah. indulger of vice. You want to keep I'll that? Do... No, I'll do another one. That's no fun. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Can, can I mulligan for this one? One Just do a different mulligan. One, one mulligan, it. right? Okay, I'm ready. 41. 41. Honorable. Honorable. Really? You're honorable. You're an honorable oh. cook. Okay, okay. I'll go ahead and give you a plus one for that too, because people know that you're an honorable man. Okay, you know? okay. They know that wow. you're honorable. He's a good guy. Just honorable. a little guy, come Maybe on. Maybe the only good one, who could say? <laughs> but remember guys, I mean... this is also what people think of you. So for example, you know, Dez is very pious, right? Oh, the word of God and whatever. But what if that's just a front? Whoa. Oh, what yeah, if it's are not outlaws. real? Oh. What if he's just pretty? He's like one of those guys that, you know, is like, oh, money for the church and, and steals no, it. No, 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 no. That's some, that's some smite-worthy talk. <laughs> the last thing. Smite-worthy talk. All right. That doesn't have to be true, but it, it, it might be. So that so. means that's that. So like Vesper, his reputation, he might not be honorable. True. Mm -hmm. He might not be mm -hmm. honorable. He might be an asshole. Just the worst. We all have reasons to be blood. outlaws, right? We have mm. to, like, mm. have reasons mm. that we're all outlaws. So, like, I'm ready to do that. I'm going to think on it. Yeah. Mm. All righty. Now, Crony, go ahead and roll for you. Okie dokie. Let's see what you got. 23. Known cheat. 
Huh? You're a known <laughs> cheat. People know that you cheat at cards, you cheat at dice, you cheat at life. <laughs> <laughs> People know you as a cheater. Mm, curious. Mm. <laughs> Very unbiased, Card games. if you ask me. Yeah, mm, sounds games. like it's about right. Huh. I don't know. That's a cheater. lie. Mm, board games, maybe? I don't know. Who could say? Hmm. Known that's... cheat. Art I imitates call... life, I suppose. <laughs> what did you just say? Nothing. 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 Yeah, just repeat that. Yeah, that's oh, no, what. No, it... no, 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 no. I'm talking to. I'm talking to. I'm talking oh, wow. to a dog. I'm talking to my dog. I'm gonna give you a minus one for that. Sure. On, on social roles. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> what a shame. People know you as a cheat. It's Gonna have to remember that. Okay. All right. Whatever you say, whatever you say. Now, the next thing that we're gonna have to figure out is your debt. You guys is starting debt because everybody's Ooh. got it. Mm. All of you have got some debt. Now we just gotta figure out how it is that you ended up with that debt. Go ahead, Des, and roll another Ooh, 1D100 okay, yeah, right. for us. Oh, one. A, a one. All right. Huh. Uh, you a owe money one. that you don't have. Decide how much wow. cash to a money lender. Someone lends you money. Zero. Zero. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, you don't get to do that. I get to decide. Okay, okay. All right. So the debt that you owe to a money lender is, let's see, um, you owe $100 cash, which in, in the wild, wild west, I don't know, that's a lot of money. Okay, okay. To money lender. I'm gonna say money man. To the money man. You were just trying to, you know, buy... Dang it. Buy some little thing that you wanted. And, uh... And there we go. Alright. Let's see. But now you owe money. So, next up we've got Vess. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and yep. roll. What's your right, debt look like? 53. 53! Uh, you shot a bounty hunter in the foot by accident. Ah. Uh. Dang yeah, it. what kind of cook is this? <laughs> Come on, <sorn> it. <laughs> he okay. was cooking for a bounty hunter. Uh, so you owe the bounty hunter money for his uh, for for his injuries, which is gonna be um, fifty bucks. Okay. What the? Right. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Shot a bounty hunter. Bounty hunter. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. A right, you owe someone something and probably have to pay it back. Ah! I have a better... You know what? I have a better way of how I'm going to handle this. You don't owe money. What? You owe him a foot. A foot? <laughs> yeah. He wants your foot. Now, you've managed to run away, but you might encounter him again. He's going to be back there for, for, your, for his foot. For your foot. <laughs> freaking, freaking... <laughs> yep. Quentin Tarantino is after me. Like, I gotta watch yep. out. <laughs> oh, oh, I should have said though. that. I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> oh, Lord. I do not endorse that statement. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a shot. Shot a bounty hunter owes a foot. Now, you managed to get away, thankfully, but he's on your tail, so watch out. Okay. All right, crony, All right. your turn to look for a debt, to roll a debt. Okay. Here we go. 78. Cigarette case. Okay. Wait, no, just kidding. That's stuff. All right, I lied. Uh, you robbed a male, a male stagecoach of three cash and associated mail that you have lost and spent. Three mm. cash? That's a lot less than 100 bucks. Dude, Damn. So it's like $3? Got... Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I misunderstood how cash works in this game. All right, all right, Mag, I'm gonna change it to ten. Ten uh, bucks. Three dollars is good. <laughs> I'm gonna change it to ten okay. bucks that you owe the money lender, Des. Okay. There you go. All well, right. at least you have like a finite sum. I owe a foot. <laughs> Just get a foot somewhere. <laughs> what is a foot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I assumed it was like my foot. Like the bounty hunter is gonna like shoot me in the, you know, like for revenge. Right? Oh no, he wants to foot, take probably. your foot. He wants to take. Like, can it be like? Okay. I mean, right. if you take someone else's foot and give it to the bounty hunter, that might work. He's just, he's crazy. He wants a foot. Oh my God. You know? So you're going to have to figure that out. Um, Crony, you robbed a stagecoach and you lost and spent all the money. So it's, it's three cash and then associated. It says associated mail. Um, so you actually don't know the full amount that you owe. You don't mm. know all that was in that mail because you lost it. You lost all that mail. 
Three plus from robbery, from stagecoach robbery. All right. Well, I mean, if I lost it, that's none of my concern. It's just $3, isn't it? <laughs> well, the God. lawman's gonna come back and make sure it is yeah. your concern. You better watch oh. out. Dang. All right. Now, next up, let's see what we got here. Uh, next is your stuff. Everybody gets stuff oh. at the start. Ooh, yes. Okay. okay. Ooh, so let's stop. get some stuff. Everybody, we're going back to Mag. Go ahead and roll a 1D100 and let's see what stuff you get. Oh, I hope I get some cool stuff. Ooh. All right, 75. You got a cigarette case. It blocks a bullet once, then is broken forever. Oh, like it's like in my pocket or something? Yeah. Oh, oh that's actually kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, so it's like an extra life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you got to take it. All right, cigarette case. Does that case. mean I smoke? I mean, it doesn't have to mean... <laughs> it doesn't okay. have to mean that. Cigarette case. All right. And that'll keep you safe from one bullet. Sick. I'll All take right. that. That seems broken. Yeah. Now, Vess, go ahead and do okay. a little roll for us. I'm ready. Hardener. 52. You got a loaded deck. All right, so you get... um one load pl it's plus one dice when cheating at cards uh-huh oh, honorable am I yeah right? am so I much right? for honorable. <laughs> honorable guy mm. plus one to I cheat mean, cards can we trade items Just, I mean... <laughs> good luck getting des to trade his cigarette case <laughs> <laughs> just My unlucky extra life? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you <laughs> loaded deck hey you never know when it's gonna come in handy it's true. It's true. A loaded deck to cheat at cards. And now, finally, last but not least, we've got Crony. Crony, go ahead and roll a 1d100 for us to see what stuff you get. Okay. All right, what do we got here? 78? Wait. I'm going to make you roll oh, again. Oh, I'm going to make you, you just... roll again. Oh, you can't get the same okay. shit. Darn, okay. 78. Oh, Twice. man. Wow, that's kind of... That's really lucky. Two. Uh. You got an old horse. Uh, speed zero, endurance zero, loyalty three, one grit, one load. Name him. You have a horse? That. As I'm gonna make you. Roll, I'm gonna make you roll again, Crony. Roll one more time. Okay. Um, Wait. What about the old horse? Nah. Nah. That's they don't exist horse. in my universe. Uh. What? Animals don't exist in my universe. No, you didn't tell me there weren't gonna be horses in this. <laughs> This is a western. We ride on turtles here. Uh, oh, okay. Just roll fine. again. All right, faded treasure map. See, this is much better. All right, put a job on the territory to find Emilio Silva's buried gold. This job has a payout of 10 cash to each person, and taking it will give your posse a debt to Silva's treasure hunters, a bunch of no good bandits and killers. In the case you lose the map, the location of the gold is impossible to find until you get the map back. So it's a treasure oh. map. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Map. Let's that's, go! That's I, man, but like that means everyone in my party is gonna get money, right? I mean, not if you kill I, him for it. It's a, it's a, we're posse. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You can't do it on your own. Yeah. Well, they might help you find the treasure. Who could say? Maybe you could yeah. persuade Maybe. them. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, if that's the case, yeah. Maybe. You could persuade them. Maybe. Man, I wish I had, like, a weapon or something. But you, Well, you already have a gun! Oh, you your golden you have armor? You guarantee the shot, you like, your secondary you weapon. You your gun? <laughs> Not enough? <laughs> Just in case, you know. Might lose it. I don't know. But, treasure map. Can I, can I roll again? Uh, fine, roll again. Well, she, she didn't mulligan earlier. Yeah. She didn't. So that's, yeah. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Twenty-six. Well-used knife. Woo! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Wait, right, it's well-used, yeah. so it's like dull. So you get, you, yeah, it's kind of dull. So you get a plus one dice to fight, whittle, or stab rattlesnakes. <laughs> Now, I don't know if that means only rattlesnakes. Wait. Just, just <laughs> rattlesnakes. Yeah. You're like, what? You're, You're like Harry to, Potter or something. You, you try what? to stab a man and it's like rubber. Like it turns oh into rubber God. and it just like won't stab. Oh, uh, 
you know what? That's good. Well used knife. Plus one to to fight. <laughs> to to whittle whittle things away, or if there are rattlesnakes around there, you can stab rattlesnakes. Congratulations. Whittle things away so you can make like little soap figures. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I mean if you want to. Dude, don't if you worry, want Crony. To. We're gonna like we're gonna encounter like the uh, the Diamondback Gang or something. They're gonna be like snake people. Uh, I swear. Okay. I mean, uh, you know, hurting people with a dull weapon means they get to suffer for a longer Maybe time. Maybe you right? can wow, use it as a. Uh... Maybe you. <laughs> We, maybe we can dark. be creative with your little <laughs> knife, you know? Like, it's like a magic trick, you know? You, you, you never know. Yeah, you like want to see a magic trick? No, no. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. All right, well, uh, let's go on to your hat then. Hats yes. kind of flavor stuff, but go ahead no, and... No, uh... this is the most important part, is yeah. the hat. Yeah, yeah the hat, right. the drip, man, is super important. Is the same thing? Uh, yep, 1D100. All right, guys, I need a cool hat. What are you going to get? Let's find out. Boop. 99. Ooh, that's a sick hat. You I got know a, it. You got a tiny hat. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a tiny hat. <laughs> tiny hat. No. Just a little baby, a little tiny hat, a little baby hat. How, how, what? How tiny? <laughs> like a love just real hat. small. Like, yeah. It's a clip. <laughs> a little Are you clip on hat. Me? It's, it's like a clip with a little hat on top it's of very it. Very tiny. A sociopath with a tiny hat. <laughs> a pious sociopath with a tiny hat. <laughs> well, you got to figure out the color for it. Roll one d ten. One d ten. <laughs> for my tiny hat? Yeah, for your tiny hat. <laughs> what color is it? It's a uh, dusky blue. It's a du dusky blue. It's a dusky tiny blue hat. tiny hat. Okay. <laughs> so that's that's your hat. Let me write it down for you. <laughs> a tiny light blue hat. A tiny light blue hat. <laughs> What if anytime anybody mentions your tiny hat, you just kill them for it? <laughs> you just marry. You just marry. Like self-conscious about your tiny hat. <laughs> that was fun good. Of my tiny hat. <laughs> oh come on, lighten up this. It's gonna be sick. Oh I didn't choose my tiny so hat, best friend. Please. <laughs> He's just a little guy. All right, I might, I might trade with you. I might trade with you. If you, if you, I might. Ooh, oh, you want the tiny hat, Vess? <laughs> I, I mean, who knows, right? Uh, who knows? Let's see if you get the Jamiroquai hat. That you mentioned yeah, before. yeah, that's a dream. Go that's ahead and roll 1D100. Yeah. All right, I am rolling now. Okay. It's going to be like, a gigantic hat. It's a foreign hat. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what that means, but it's just a foreign hat. The baseball okay. cap. Yeah, it's from somewhere. Uh, it, it should still be like within the time period, right? I would, I would hope. <laughs> Maybe no, you know, okay. snapback. Like a okay. sombrero. <laughs> I mean, oh, a yes. beret. A, um, beret. a beret. It could be anything not from the West, I guess. Okay, anything not. <laughs> the most anti-West. Samurai helmet. <laughs> Does not count as a hat. <laughs> I tried to color. Do I do the color roll? Yeah, one d ten. Okay. Ah, uh, Sukiyaki so Western. All right, the color is clean gray. You have a clean, clean gray, gray wow. foreign hat. Foreign foreign hat from like the 17, 1800s and it's clean gray. Yeah, that's okay, right. Let me let me let me think on that. All right, for foreign hat clean gray. I'll just write it down for now. All right, now finally, last but certainly not least, we have the Cronester. Let's go ahead and roll for your hat. 1d100. Okie dokie. 18. You have a gaudy hat. Oh. The Do you know what that word means? <laughs> <laughs> it's a gaudy hat. It's just, uh, it's really obnoxious, um, annoying looking hat. Maybe it's got like a feather in it or something. I don't know. It's golden arm, gaudy hat. Perfect. Diamond studded. Oh, diamond studded. It I could like be. that. Yeah, it's yeah. gaudy. I, you, when you said that, I thought of those hats that were really trending at, at like anime conventions and it said like hype beast. 
with like the <laughs> spikes on it, you know? <laughs> oh, the little like metal horns? Yeah, I know uh -huh. what you're talking about. Those little studs, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Well, this is the West, so it's a little different, but I know exactly okay. what you're talking about. It says yeehaw instead. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> <It says> yeehaw <laughs> instead. That's the only difference. Now roll 1d10 for me, please, crony. Okie dokie. Six. Uh, it's jet black. Oh. It's a jet black gaudy Negative. hat. Yeah. I mean, jet black isn't really a gaudy color, but I'm sure you'll make it work. All right. Yeah, make okay. it prettier. Yeah. Maybe like put some diamonds on it, diamond encrusted. You know. Feathers. Yeah, put some feathers here and there. You know. Fruits. Yeah. 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 I, I typed in gaudy hats. Google. Yeah. And this one, it's a bucket hat with Danny DeVito. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh my God. I didn't even find that. Google search. It's amazing. Does anyone want my tiny blue hat? <laughs> you can keep I'm, it. I'm up for a trade. What kind of hat do you have? He's got the I foreign have, hat. I have a foreign hat and it's like dark gray, like clean gray. I'm up for a trade, but like it's not going to be a straight trade because, like, you know, you know. Oh, what is this? You know, <laughs> well, I owe you something now. Oh, you want well, something I don't want extra? you to owe me. I don't want you to owe me. I just don't want you to kill me, right? I already got. I've already got like the kid here on my like right, about to like fucking no, put a bullet I, I in my keep back. My right? tiny blue hat. You have to keep the tiny blue hat. Okay. Okay. Understood. Cute. It's a cute little hat. Little tiny blue. Yeah. It suits you. Mm. Thanks. Now we actually also have to roll for what type of gun you guys have. Oh. Ooh, because okay. the big deal is just like the history and like little, oh. little like what your gun's deal is, right? Okay. But okay. it's not what type of gun that you have. So go ahead and roll for me, uh, Magni, Magni Desmond. Um, roll 1d6 to figure out what type of gun you have. Thank you, 47. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have a revolver. Okay. Your gun yeah. is a revolver. Nice. Which is just basically all around a good gun. Now, the, d the type of gun that you have will affect the speed, power, range, and precision. With the revolver, everything is very much like straightforward, like no minus, no plus. Standard gun. Yeah, exactly. I'll take that. Yep. No mm. plus, no minus. Just it's a standard revolver. Solid iron. All right. Now, <clears throat> next up, we've got Vess. Go ahead and roll. Got see it. what kind of gun you got. D6, correct? Yes. Got it. All right. One you up. also have a revolver. What? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Two and three oh. are revolvers. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. That makes sense. Like a legendary gun. Yeah. Like legendary a gun might be a the revolver. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I will allow for the same type of gun because there's only six. So, yeah. all right. I mean, revolver. most people in a Western would probably have just a revolver. Right? Yeah, yeah. Standard yeah. revolver. Now, Crony, go ahead and roll for me 1d6. Crony, the UNSC oh, rail he... gun. Okay. I have a sledgehammer. 1500 meters. <laughs> the hammer of dawn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a satellite. <laughs> just like vaporizes it. Oh, please, no. Come Wait, on. but I have a sledgehammer. Yeah, no, that's just it? the okay. type. It's, that's it's... just your gun's deal. It's extra uh... stuff you can do with your gun. The background, okay, the base okay. of your gun. It's not what type it is. Okay, got it. Let's see what you get. One, two, thanks. M16. All right, well, you've got a Deringer. Ah, uh, <laughs> like a little one-shot pistol. Yeah, extra speed, yeah. but minus range. So yeah, far away shot's not range. super good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's like one of those, like, ha, huh, we, we disarmed you at the front. Yeah, yeah it's in my sock, boom. It, it should be a holdout weapon, IMO, because it's like super tiny. Mm. A little so one like, shot, a little one shot boy. Like all my skills have been like, like near near sighted range, so my accuracy rate should be pretty high. No. Well, it's a hundred percent. I think. <laughs> I think by now it should be close to hundred percent. Awesome. Yeah. So let yeah. me see. Your gun, like you, has four qualities. I'm seeing where to mark this on here. One sec. Uh, for gun type. The guns deal, we already got the gun deal, and then we still haven't finished quite yet with the gun, because each gun has its own oh, flavor as well. Oh, okay. So cool. You eat your revolver. There's like a sour bite mark out of like, like a little bite mark out of your revolver. Mm, <laughs> speed minus range. Alright, so let's go ahead, Des, you're gonna roll for me one more one D6. Boop. 
Let's see the aesthetic of your gun. Three, okay. You have a mother of pearl gun, gold or silver inlay. Very oh, fancy. Extremely uh, fancy gun. It's a fancy gun. It's like ornate. It. Indeed. So let me see. Where can I write that here? I'm just gonna write it right here. Solid iron, mother of pearl. It's very beautiful. It's a very gorgeous gun. And and you know what? It's good that it always comes back to you after one minute because that's a nice looking gun. Uh, yeah. Prize okay. possession. Now next up is Vess. Go ahead and roll. Okay. 1d6. Got it. E6. Okay. What do we got? One. Engraved with a name on the grip. It's engraved. Oh, that's why it's like a legendary yeah, legacy gun, right? Yeah. That means you can put okay. those dots together. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's engraved. You're <laughs> saying Gucci gun. Gucci gun. <laughs> Gucci gun. <laughs> it's got a Gucci symbol all over it. Just do a stream it. where I say Gucci gun like one million times. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. They'll both start Let's to go. not sound like words anymore. <laughs> all right. Now, Crony, go ahead and roll 1d6 for me. Okay. Six. Sparkling, clean, brand new, or shiny. Okay. Sparkly. Yeah. Sparkly gun. Sparkly gun. Sparkling gun. It's very clean. It's very shiny. Dang, I'm so fancy with the gaudy hat <laughs> the and the God. sparkling Wait. gun. Wait, Crony, don't you want to trade your hat with me? <laughs> <laughs> you can keep your baby hat. <laughs> 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 You, aren't you like a, you're like a little kid, right? <laughs> I'm good. Oh, you want the little okay. baby one? Fancy Roni? All right. She's, got, she's like I, I, this little kid with this giant gaudy hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. And now we have to go uh, into normal deals. So your guns get deals, basically, um, that grant plus one dice when invoked during a throwdown. Okay. Um, so. Now, once again, I'm going to have you guys roll 1d100. It's good that we have all these 1d100s here. So, Dez, go ahead and roll 1d100. Let's figure out what your gun's normal deal is. Boop. Three. All right, Ornery. Your gun kicks like a mule and almost leaps out of your hand when firing, which is plus 1d to power. Oh. Nice. Oh. oh. Okay. All okay. right. So your gun's deal is uh, you get plus 1 to power. All right. Ornery. Ornery. Yeah. Plus one power. Okay. Now, next up is Ves. Vesper Noir. Right. It's a D100, right? Yes, sir. Okay. 41. All right. 41. Lightweight. Your gun is easy to handle, but more easily knocked out of your hand. I'll remember oh. that. You get plus one to speed, though. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Right. Plus one speed. Wait. Vesper, trade with me. Think about it. <laughs> Think about it. I mean, are we are we buddies? Like, well, no, no, no. If we're buddies, we're I'm screwed, right? Oh no! <laughs> what? Because you have we're you have posse. a higher you can you can you can kill me he if I trust you. He could just kill you. Really. Yeah. I'm not yeah. gonna kill you, bro. It's just he gonna could. hurt you. He could do it. He could I, do I think it. I'll, I, yeah, I think I'll keep my gun. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, All good. right, crony. Now let's see what your normal deal is. Okay. For the Cronster, we've got, we've got, Gunny roll. we've got <laughs> 80. All right, let's see what we got. Prophetic, you always <laughs> tend to aim before you think, plus one dice for precision. Ooh. Oh, we got power, precision, and speed. Yeah, like all pretty, pretty good. Oh spread good. about i gotta Dude, say this is sick yeah prophetic let's see pro i can spell prophetic and it's plus one precision precision there we go i'll clean that up later um all right so now we've pretty much got your guns figured out nice but we still don't really have your deals and personal qualities figured out. That's what we really need to get into the meat of here. We've got the starting debt, reputation, all that kind of stuff. But let's see what we've got here. So, um, actually, your qualities, um, your personal qualities, right, all the way off to the left over here is something oh, that I you don't that. roll for. Mm. You don't, okay. oh. you don't roll for those. You get to decide them. 
Yep. So you pick one to set at plus two and four at plus one and the rest are at zero. Mm, okay. Yep. What, say it one more time. So out of all of, so for example, there's swindle, mm -hmm. straight talk, class, hustle, guile, hunt, squint, handiwork, survive, and guts. Now mm -hmm. out of all of those, you get to pick one to have it plus two. Okay. One is plus two. Yeah. Four is plus one. Correct. And the rest are zero. Rest are zero. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yes, mm. sir. <laughs> Squint. Squint. And just so you guys know what each does, I'll say, just so you guys know. Class. Get social access, research, hearsay, or connections. Hustle. Move with quickness or agility. Run, jump, climb, or swim. Guile. Move or act quietly or unseen. Hunt. Track, hunt, or fish. Find objects or people. Squint. Appraise a person or situation in greater detail. Detect deceit. Get a gut feeling. Handiwork. Fix an object. Whittle or craft. Pick a lock. Set explosives. Drive, etc. Survive. Cook food. Set up camp. Apply medicine. Forage. Resist the elements. Guts. Eat, drink, throw a punch. Lift a heavy beam. Perform feats of strength. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What's straight talk? Uh, straight talk. Oh, I totally didn't read the two up here. Okay. Straight talk. Persuade, persuade, intimidate, or convince in a straightforward fashion. Swindle. Lie, impersonate, forge documents, seduce. Seduce. If it's in bad faith, it's swindling. Huh. Okay. Mm. All right. So I, I, I'm picking. Yes, sir. All right. Plus two to swindle. Ooh, we got a we got a real mean guy here, real bad dude. All right. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Now, what will your plus ones be? Hustle. Okay. <laughs> of course, he would run. Hustle. Survive. Okay. Survive. Guile. Guile. What was squint? Squint is appraise a person or situation in greater detail, detect a seat, get a gut feeling. Squint. All right, like squint. That. There you go. Those are your personal qualities. Now then, Vesper, how about you? Could I could I actually get um like a re re description of like my character's big deal? Sure. Salt of the yeah. earth. All right. Let me let me go back to the yeah the yeah. other document that has the character deals. All right. Yeah. Salt, salt of the earth. Let's see, where is that? All right, you are a gourmand, a rambler, and a folk healer. You can cook up a gumbo, stew, or other hearty family recipe dish and bring it with you on the job. It'll be plus two load, but that's okay. You don't care about that. Its primary ingredient is, um, and then we roll. Oh, oh, we haven't rolled for what your primary ingredient is for your family <laughs> dish. We'll do that later. Mm, now, yeah, once yeah, on a job, yeah. when you take a breather and have a little time to eat, you can share your stew with anyone present and, they, and it can re restore one grit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you really you want to make sure that you've got lots of grit. Grit's yeah. important. Mm. That's how yeah, you yeah. live, and, that's how you survive. And then cook, cooking is handiwork, right? Or is it survive? Survive, Cook right? is survive. Survive, got it. Okay. Yes, sir. I, I think I know what to do. All right. All right. So two and squint. All right, two and squint. Yeah. Hmm. All right. One straight talk. Okay. One survive. Okay. One guts. All right. There we go. Yeah. Nice. All right. All good. Next up and last but not least, Crony. Hmm. Okay. Uh, my big deal was that I can shoot anyone. Hmm. Shoot anyone. <laughs> yeah. And you get traumatized if you, oh, I get one if you more, kill someone. Apparently. Oh, you oh, do? Wait. Apparently I get one more. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it's four. Give me give me give me guile then. Guile? Actually Give me Give me hunt. Hunt. Oh uh, yeah, you gotta yeah. get, you know, some good ingredients for your Yeah, for your I wanna food. get ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Crony, uh what did you wanna do again? Hmm. Does my reputation affect my skills in any sort of way? Well, all that's gonna cheat. all that's gonna happen is in situations that involve like card games or, or um, you're trying to make a deal with someone. It'll be a minus one dice to try and convince them. Mm. Okay, but are there any like plus 
to my reputation for like these types of games by being a cheat? Oh, uh, it depends. There might be a situation where being a known cheat could be helpful. Maybe some mm. other cheaters are trying to, to get a job done and they trust you more because they know that you're kind of a bad person like they are. Hmm. Okay. Known cheat. Which, I mean, either way it could uh, work. I'll get rid of this. I'll do... Uh, I'll decide on the plus two later, but I'll get plus one on Hustle. Okay. And hustle, Guile. Hustle, hustle, Guile. Okay. And... You get two more. Uh, maybe I'll switch to plus two then. Oh? Um... I want either squint or handiwork. Mm. But to perceive. Mm, get plus two on squint. Alright. Ooh, you guys are real perceptive. Yeah. Perceptive folk. I'm like looking I'm like, what are you guys looking at? <laughs> 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 Incredible. And then you get, uh, yeah, two more one dots. I'll get swindle. Uh-huh. So you are a cheat. All right. Yeah. Nice, nice. Then uh, I'm going to get... Mm-hmm. Guts. Guts. Oh. All right. Nice. This team is looking real strong. You guys will be forces to be reckoned with. But we still have small deals to go over. So small deals. Now small deals, you're really supposed to roll them at the beginning of every every session. But because uh -huh. we only have one session, we're just gonna do it now. So okay. at the start of every game, you roll a D100, D10, three times for smaller deals. These are character traits that'll give their corresponding quality an extra bonus should you invoke it during a throwdown, which is, you know, rolling dice. Either choose from the list of terms or write your own based on the list provided. All that matters is the quality it can always give you. Put character deals on your sheet in any order. The order you put them will determine the number of times they can be used. These cannot be changed. So we're not going to do drawback deals because we're not dealing with EXP. So... Let's go ahead and roll your okay. normal deals. Let's start off with Magni Desmond. Go ahead and roll again for me a 1d100. I think this might be the last 1d100 you guys have to roll. All right, 16. All right, you got a plus to straight talk. Plus one dice for Ooh, straight okay. talk for the session. Ooh. All right, which could be, could be useful. Here, let's see, straight talk. All right. Straight talk. Plus one. All right, now next up, Vess. What's Ready your normal deal? 76. 76. All right, looks like that's going to be handiwork. Oh, okay. You get a plus to handiwork, which is nice because, I mean, these are not things that you guys have, so just in case, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Mm. Handiwork. Plus one. And finally, Crony, how about you? Uh, Let's see what we got I, here. I kind of want to <clears throat> change, bless you, I kind of want to change guts oh? to hunt. Okay, I can do that for you. For you, anything crony. Oh, bless. Oh, bless. Oh, bless. <laughs> oh, bless. <laughs> oh, lordy, bless. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, I got you. We'll put it in hunt. All right, now go ahead and roll one d one hundred for me, and let's see what your little bonus is. Thank you, thank you. Eighty-one. So you have a survive bonus. Oh, okay. All right. Survive plus one. Nice. All righty. So at this point, I'm looking over the. Looking over the the sheet, it looks like we're done. It looks like Alrighty. that's that's about that's it. We 
We did it. We made some what characters. What about our names? Yeah, oh, see, we gotta get names. You guys got to give give some names. You got a day to right. think about them, but... I know my name. Oh, I already know my name, too. Okay, what are your names? What are your names? I'm going to name my gun, too. That I don't know, but I'm, oh, I know sure. my character's name. Okay. Yeah. What's your character's name, Vess? Uh, it's Cookie Cookie Caliban. Cookie Caliban. <laughs> Co Cookie Caliban. Yeah. Cool. I li I like the. <laughs> is it because yeah. he's a is it because he's a cook? <laughs> yeah, Cookie. I think that's what they that's what they called like a cook in the Wild West. I think Cookie. <gasps> cookie. Yeah. It's good. I like it. Do you know what kind of what kind of character this is? Is it a uh... Is this character um, a sir, madam, cowpoke? Are they big, small? You know? Oh, man. I don't know about the looks yet. I'm still thinking about All it. All right. You got time. Yeah, you got yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. For where I'm excited to meet Cookie. Yeah, Cookie Caliban. Yeah, that's cool. How about Mag? Magni Desmond. Okay. <laughs> his name. Okay, I, I know what my name is. All right. What's the name? St. Clappington. <laughs> what? Excuse me? St. Clappington. Uh, oh, God. Does he There's really no think he's saying? These scrolling. unpious sinners are about to get clapped. Oh, God. This oh guy's God. fucking evil. Let's go. Based, based, based. <laughs> get clapped. What is he clapping? You know, he's clapping like he's... Sinners. Sinners! <laughs> Duh! He's clapping. The, the sinners. That's all. Nothing else. Nothing Nothing strange. How about uh, How about you, Crony? Do you know a name yet? Uh, I'm like using a cowboy name generator. Ooh, okay. <laughs> That's cool. How about a... Uh, Chris... K-R-I-S. K-R-I-S. Chris. Chris with a K? Scarface Chris. Reynolds. Scarface. <laughs> Scarface Reynolds. Scarface Reynolds. Cool. <laughs> That's very cowboy. It'd be so funny if you don't have a scar on your face because you're a kid. <laughs> so they're like, why Why did they call you Scarface? That, that so wouldn't cool. be what a kid would name themselves, though. It's no scar. You know? <laughs> A kid would name himself that. Chris! <laughs> Wonderful. Scarface Reynolds. Oh my fucking god. It's because Incredible. I'll give you a scar. <laughs> <laughs> With your, your well-used knife. Oh my god. I only attack specifically rattlesnakes. <laughs> like if it's a snake that's not a rattlesnake, it won't do anything. You get a minus five if it's not a rattlesnake. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> this is too good. Incredible. All right. Um well, we've made we've made some characters. Um additionally, I guess I should let you guys know about um some of the future mechanics of the game. Test your luck of the cards. If you're not feeling good about the dice gods, good graces, you can push your luck playing cards instead. So at the beginning of every session, okay? At the beginning of our session, um, or after a breather, for example, we sit down and have some of Cookie's cooking. Um, you can redraw cards. Players will draw one card from a 52 card deck. The narrator will draw one card for each player. You're not allowed to look or share your cards with the others. So I will be mm. taking screenshots of each card that you guys draw. Pretending mm. that it's face down on the table, right? Um, and then the player, you'll state your action and the narrator states the stakes. Players can choose to bow out if they're unsure about the stakes. Once both have agreed, the player will place their card face down. Now the narrator can choose to fold, and doing so the player's card is spent, while the narrator retains their hand. So the action is a success, basically. If I choose to fold, you succeed at whatever it is you want to do instead of rolling dice. Um, or, narrator takes the bet and places one of my own cards face up, and then you flip your card, and the person mm. with the higher card wins. Mm. If a player's okay. card is higher than the narrator's, the action is a success. Tie equals failure, and ace of spades always wins. And that's about okay. it. Just so you know. <laughs> oh, they're saying they're the secret saying I need ingredient. like the ingredient. Yeah, You're the right. secret ingredient. All right, Vess, go ahead and roll for me a one d six so we can figure 1D6. out what the ingredient is for you. 
Understood. Secret Understood. ingredient. Six. A net six. Pumpkin. A pumpkin? <laughs> it's pumpkin. A pumpkin? Yes, that's the secret We're... ingredient. It's primary oh, yeah. ingredient. It's He's pumpkin. Carrying gore. <laughs> I'm carrying like a whole lot. Of He's got a cart. <laughs> He's got a cart full of pumpkins. For, pumpkin for cookies, King. special pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. He what? makes pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the inventor of the pumpkin spice oh. latte. I'm gonna say so pumpkin my, man. my descendants will be like billionaires. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> the pumpkin man. All right. You can have a valley girl accent. <laughs> yes. This is the pumpkin spice latte. Yes. What my pumpkin spice latte? It's the finest coffee in the West. I hate uh, both of you so much. <laughs> yeah. Good shit, man. Now you have to commit to the bit. Oh, man. A pumpkin? <laughs> yep. What? Yep. Yes, indeed. I'm going to look up. I'm gonna look up like what I could cook with a pumpkin. I'm gonna yeah. think about it. Pumpkin soup. Oh yeah. Also, sorry, I forgot. You guys have to pick gun qualities. Actually, whoopsie doodle. Ooh. Um. So gun qualities. for the gun qualities, you got power, speed, and range. Um. Mm. Power, speed, range, precision. Okay. So you need to pick two qualities to have one. Two qualities and one. Mm, I okay. see. It's like our personal quality. Exactly. But it's your guns qualities. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, almost missed that one. It's important. Two of them at one. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Pick two qualities to set at one. So I don't think you can put two into one. But I think, yeah, you have to choose two to have at one. <laughs> Saint Clappington. Saint Clappington. Saint Clappington. All right. All right. What are we doing, Saint Precision Clappington? Precision okay. and speed. All right. Precision, speed. Gotcha. And then the deal that you have here will uh, add on to that, of course. Um, precision, speed, and your deal is plus one power, so that's pretty good. Oh. Yeah. I see. So I just Wait. put in the deal. I, could I put one in power instead? If you want to, and then it would could, be two. Could power. my gun just just boom, just like blast <laughs> off people's heads? If I, I mean, if that's, two in power? if that's what like you want. Like a <laughs> You'd have right. plus two power, so. All right, one in power and one in speed. Okay, speed. All right, power and speed. Mm -hmm. You got it. Next up, Vess, what are we doing? Give me, give me one in precision, one in speed. All right, you got it. And then you've also got another speed uh, dice yeah. as well, so that's good. Yeah. All right, yeah. and Crony, how about you? Well, I have a. What, you actually, your gun Doing actually it? gives you yeah your gun actually gives you one in speed anyway uh i think one for power okay and my range of shit yeah uh my precision is pretty good i think yeah it's zero it's you know zero is not bad oh zero yeah i still have speed am i the fastest uh the fastest draw in the west slinger yes uh, that would actually be uh cookie cookie don't has tell plus one speed. <laughs> oh, for the love of god <laughs> oh, no. she's just gonna fight hey look i'm the narrator i gotta be honest yeah it's true it's true yeah okay so if i add to speed would i be the fastest or... you would both be tied for the fastest <laughs> I'll let speed. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now both of you are tied for the fastest gun in the West. <clears throat> fastest gun in the West. All right. Now let's see what we got here. Let me look at everybody's characters really quick. So <laughs> let me read them out for you guys. Everybody's characters so that we all are on the same page on characters here. All right. First of all, we've got the great Magni Desmond playing the character Saint Clappington. <laughs> <laughs> who is known around these parts as a pure black eyes, a cold-blooded killer who can shoot anyone who runs, surrenders, or trusts you without <laughs> having a, to roll. What a selection How, of people. However, <laughs> however, to the public, people see Saint Clappington as a pious saint. Yes, indeed, a saint. Who is a god fearing man, Madame Cowpoke? Um, god servant man. God, god servant. <laughs> and uh, and people trust Saint Clappington. 
Um, but beneath that, uh, beneath that facade is somebody who, who wields uh, a solid iron revolver that will always return to St. Clappington's side. A beautiful mother of pearl gun. Uh, shiny, sparkly, gorgeous. Um, very expensive, but it will never leave St. Clappington's side. Also in possession of a cigarette case that will take a bullet for St. Clappington. Wearing... <laughs> By wearing, the power of God will it protect me. <laughs> wearing Sam <laughs> Covington's favorite <laughs> tiny hat in, in dusky blue. His baby blue hat. Dusky blue hat. Dusky well, blue not tiny baby hat. baby blue, it's dusky blue. Okay. Dusky blue hat. Preach. And then, next up, we've got Cookie... Cookie Caliban, the one and only big chef of the West. Uh, salt of the earth can cook anything, can make anyone sharing a meal with them answer one question truthfully. Uh -huh. It's all in the pumpkin recipe. The long passed down in Cookie's, Cookie's family line. That's right. People know Cookie to be honorable. Very honorable chef. Nobody okay. really has any problem with, with Cookie, especially okay. because of that delicious cooking. <laughs> However, little do they know <laughs> that beneath that coat, Cookie is holding the legacy revolver. It is engraved. Yes. Can I engraved. can I can I say what it's engraved with? And it's also the name of the gun. Yeah. It's engraved with the, the name Pagliacci. How the fuck do you spell this? <laughs> it's the clown, the great the great clown Pagliacci is in town. Pagliacci. <laughs> oh, Pagli. Oh, thank thank you, Chad. <laughs> Wait. Can Pag cook anything. Yeah. Do you mean you can cook human meat? anything? Human meat? Or, or you mean like a rock? I don't know. Yeah, like I can like cook blue rock. anything. Like we found some branches. I mean, it's not going to be mean, delicious. You mean? But... Do you mean you can cook anything? As in, any sort of dish can be cooked. Now that I say it out loud, probably that one. <laughs> well. <laughs> I mean, I'm not I say gonna that, do but that. It's, it's really more just flavor. The dish that yeah. Cookie specializes in is the pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> that's, you know, that's the main one. That's the one that always, yeah. without fail, will heal up the team, yeah. um, restoring grit. Now, when it comes yeah. to sharing meals, though, it can be anything that will get the truth out of, out of whoever Cookie is sitting down with. So okay. <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> Magliacci. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, leave me oh out of it. <laughs> <laughs> the legacy revolver, Pagliacci. Every time yeah. that Cookie flashes this gun, everybody has to stop and stare at the gun <laughs> because it's just so beautiful and it's it's legacy. It's a legacy gun. Yeah. yeah. Once owned by the the clown, I guess. <laughs> Pag oh no, 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 Paglacci's not a clown in this lore. He's like a legendary Italian gunslinger. Right? I see, gotcha. He's like a legendary, he's a legend. He's yeah. a legend, so everybody's got to kind of look. He's Italian, yeah. He's Italian. I see, is he going to speak in an Italian accent for the whole game? Best no, 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 no. <laughs> Cookie, Cookie was born and raised here, but like, right. might be related. I don't gotcha. know. Gotcha, I see, yeah. I see. Yeah. Hmm. All righty. Foreign hat speaks otherwise. Yeah. Caliban. Foreign hat. Caliban. You're foreign. Where's that <laughs> foreign hat from, huh? I mean, like, the easy one that makes the most sense is just like a sombrero, right? I mean, that's if I can't get If I can't get a samurai helmet, is that like the narrator says uh, no? Yeah, I mean. Uh, I, I'm fine with I'm fine with, name. I'm, I'm fine with name. I'm fine with it just being like. All right, all right. As all long right, as it right, doesn't right. increase his defense. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, People are saying Fez. They want like a Fez, a right? A Fez hat? Let's do a Fez. A gray, what is it? Like a clean gray Fez hat. Yeah. Okay. Japanese straw hat. No, no, no. Fez hat's no, good. No, 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 no. We're going to go Fez. Fez hat's good. All right. Yeah. So now a straw Fez hat. No. No. All right. So that's Cookie. Last but certainly not. Oh, my God. Did I accidentally erase your character sheet? There we go. We're good. We're fine. Crisis averted. Crony. Crony is playing the legendary or not so legendary child known as Chris Scarface Reynolds. <laughs> I'm Chris Scarface Reynolds. That's right. <laughs> the, the kid with the golden arm. That's right. I'm going to kill you all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the little kid that. can't take it. His first kill, he's like, oh god, I don't want to wait. Don't want to be like this. No, what have I done? Uh, you got a hell of an arm, though. Um, you can spend your card, which is the card that you pull, right? I mentioned pulling cards for luck. You can spend it to put a bullet in anyone or anything in hollering distance that you can see without having to roll any dice. So, no one can avoid the bullet. It always hits its target. However, if you kill someone or think you killed someone, oh boy, God have mercy on your soul, little one. You're gonna be uh, in a state of, a real bad state. State of panic. Right there, the sassy lost child. <laughs> sassy lost child. <laughs> However, you are a known cheat, which is really a shame. That one time you cheated at cards with a, uh, with one of the big wigs in the the oil the oil industry. You cheated oh. at cards and they caught you. Oh my gosh! Do you know how much you have to cheat to get a reputation as a cheater as like a little kid? Yeah. It's like a lot of I was cheating. A, I was a scapegoat for something bigger. All right. I was a victim. I mean, you could be. Understand. You're a known cheat after after all, so that doesn't mean you are a cheat, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Sit down, baby blue hat. Oh, it's what was it? Hazy baby what? blue. Dusky, dusky blue. It's dusky. It's dusky, dusky blue. blue. It's dusky. Yeah, dusky. But dusky. Uh, you feel very high and mighty with your gaudy jet black hat. Very stylish. <laughs> that sounds so sick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Additionally, you've got a sledgehammer sparkling gun. It's a Derringer. Yes. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't mention Cookie's gun. Yeah, I did mention Cookie's gun. The legacy. Yours is a sledgehammer sparkling, beautiful, sparkling, clean, brand new gun. Where did you get it? Maybe from that stagecoach you robbed. Did Daddy give it to you? Who could say? That's up to you. It's from Papa. Maybe he just takes really good care of it. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could say. It really treasures that gun. But, so it's a hand-me-down. Yeah, it, it could be, but yeah. it's very, very <laughs> clean. I don't know. Sparkly shiny. So it looks like this is our this is our crew right here. These are our our uh, cowboys. Our cow pokes. Yeehaw. That we will be I'm playing ready. with. Do we have a name for our little posse oh, here? Oh, we should name our posse. Yeah. Yeah, right, what, what you want to name your posse? We have a holy man, a mm -hmm. cook, mm -hmm. and yeah. a kid. <laughs> the three musketeers. Oh, <laughs> it's <was> cute. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. no. Salt gang. Mm. Uh. Mm -hmm. I'll leave it up to you guys. The, what are y'all thinking? Something, the something trio. Right? Ooh. Something trio? The, the yummy... The yummy. <laughs> the, yeah. the yummy. The, 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 the yummy. The yummy. <laughs> the. Somebody said. Somebody said two and a half men. <laughs> oh god. The three guys wants to. <laughs> I don't like. I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't like the assumption that I'm equal man to Cal Caliban. Who's making that assumption? I we'll have it figured out for the next session. Chefs for the yeah, Lord. Yeah, we can figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, guys... Two and a half hats? Shut the... Who the fuck was that? Who the hell was that? Who the hell said that? A oh, little tiny baby hat. He's just got a little hat. He's just a little guy. Two and a half hats. Nice. <laughs> wow, that was pretty good. What kind of posse name is that? <laughs> <laughs> you hear? Two and a half hats is rolling in town. Oh no. <laughs> gotta look out gotta look out for them. <laughs> two and a half hats is perfect. <laughs> okay, we'll go with two and a half hats. <laughs> two and a half hats. Good. Incredible. Now, <laughs> since it's a one shot, we kind of do need to decide how your posse met because I won't be detailing how mm. you guys met in the session. We need to decide that now. How would you guys meet each other? Mm. It was a Sunday. So <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was there. All right. Uh, course, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Is is Saint Clappington like a a priest priest or like what? He just he what's is. his job? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm the I'm a patron saint. Okay. Of, <laughs> well, what's your job like? My job? Do you go around and give sermons I work to the for towns? God. I know, but I'm asking <sighs> what you do. Oh, Can we... I I I kill sinners. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's Incredible. a sinner. <laughs> Every, what if everyone's a... Oh god. Okay. We're fine. I think I I think I know a l Can I use like the tools that I've been given on the character sheet to sure. like tie into the backstory? Of course. Whatever you want to do. In the past, in the past I used the ability on Pagliacci, right? Yeah. To to convince St. Clappington that I'm like pious and oh. I'm like useful and I joined like his gang. So like yeah. I joined him, right? Oh yeah. But yeah. I'm scared of him. Okay. But the reason why I want to join him is because there's a there's like a bounty hunter that's like gonna try to take my foot. Right, right. right. So He's after your foot. I need I need for to like grippers. posse up with some muscle, right? <laughs> and yeah. I look at I look at St. Clappington and it's like ain't nobody gonna F with this dude. Yeah. Right? No better so, muscle like, than the holy yeah. word of God, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, right. and and I'm scared of him. Like, I'm terrified <laughs> of him because we've been hanging out. Yeah, you that's, figured that's out he's life. really a messed up guy, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we hang out for a little bit. It's like, wow. <laughs> oh man, I'm in <laughs> Yikes! <danger>. Yeah, <laughs> have some pumpkin spice, dude. Take the edge off. Oh god. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see. We'll see if that works out for you, or if Saint Clappington may turn around and you know clap Wait, what you. What about Chris? Are you, Chris? Man walks down the street wearing a hat like that, you know he ain't afraid of nothing. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Well, how about you, Chris? How did you encounter these two, these two cow pokes? Damn. So. Are you cheating at cards again? <laughs> so, uh, I was I was playing cards yeah, at Uno. a saloon. Yeah. I, I, it was a we were playing Uno yeah. at a saloon. <laughs> yes, they were. And, yeah, and you were cheating. <laughs> and and you I were cheating. got kicked out. And I got you know. kicked out because yeah, they were cheating. suspicious that I was cheating, and I, I just, I had nowhere else to go. So I thought maybe to cleanse my reputation, I decided uh, to go to a church on a Sunday. The confessional. Oh, mm. gotcha. And then <laughs> I saw Saint Clappington. Saint Clappington. <laughs> like sheep, like like sheep, sheep entering the flock of Saint Clappington. <laughs> God, this guy's scary. And and I I, I meet this guy and he, he seems normal for like the first few seconds, and then I realize that he's kind of crazy. But <laughs> cold to the clap since. Since he's like a devoted follower, he probably gets a lot of money from the church. So I kind of want to see if I can cheat. Whoa. He's a man. I just saw the funniest suggestion for a posse name. If, if we haven't already done two and a half ads. What? What is it? Eat, pray, kill. <laughs> That's pretty good. Eat, pray, kill. I like that. That's good. That's really strong. That's a strong name. Eat, pray, kill. We can decide like tomorrow, right? Yeah, but that's, that's a good. really good contender. Good. You guys have some good names. <laughs> Pretty brilliant. I fucks with it. That's good. Excellent job. Oh man. All right, you you hustlers, you rustlers. How are you gonna talk in the game? Have you guys decided on character voices yet? I'm gonna do like a light Western accent, not too crazy. Oh okay. Yeah. Howdy, partner. Yeah, partner, like that. Right? Oh, I like, see. Not, not oh, you crazy. mean light, like not like a light, like a light, like a light. Like a light no, like no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean like I'm not gonna go like I'm like not gonna go low. like okay. southern like Texas accent oh, from like, like this little like county. I mean like just like a general, yeah, like just like a general accent. It's nice. like western. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's great. All right. How how about you, Des? How does the the Lord's favorite <laughs> little palm um... speak? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a couple options here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, one would be like one of those like modern southern mega church casters. Oh, oh okay. Hmm. Or maybe. 
Ooh. What about those ones that are like, may the Lord be with you. <laughs> like, That's a good oh, one. Oh, Lord, praise his name. <laughs> praise him. I don't, I've actually never seen um, this one I'm about to describe, but there's a character in the, in the manga, Berserk. Uh -huh. yeah. And he's like the big, he's like the yeah. big holy guy. Yeah. I don't he's know. The square face like, dude. Yeah, he's the square face guy. And that even though I've never psycho. heard him speak, oh, I, I imagine my character speaking like that guy speaks. Oh, I and see. And I'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go do a little do not research. look away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That's good. I like that. That's good. How about you, crony? How does Chris speak? Uh,. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, maybe I'll do like a Ash Ketchum! <laughs> <laughs> Ash Ketchum! What's wrong with this kid? <laughs> Go, Sledgehammer! I choose you! You guys never take me seriously! Caliban, what's wrong with this, what's wrong with this kid? I'm an adult too! I don't know, partner, but I'm not gonna let her ruin my day. I'm gonna cheat you and take all your money! <laughs> Yeah, with those Uno cards again, huh? <laughs> A howdy, partner! Oh my god, it's so good! <laughs> Little baby child. It's unsettling, oh. yeah. <laughs> Scarface Reynolds is a little the unsettling. Nickname Scarface will never not be funny. <laughs> There's like no scar. No scar on, on Chris's but face. Chris could like insist, it's like, it's right here. It's right here. I got it in a knife fight. It's like, Ooh, yeah, sure, Chris. It looks, like, it looks like a cat just scratched Chris's face. <laughs> I have a scar for my cat. <laughs> I'll give you a scar. Look in the mirror. <laughs> Five seconds. Everyone be afraid. This is a cold blooded killer kid who's never killed oh, anyone. Be funny. Yeah, I'm excited. It looks like the gang's all here. We've assembled everyone. I'll be sharing the character sheets around, um, so please keep your eyes peeled for those. It's a rattlesnake. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> drop some drop some characters. <gasps> yeah. yeah, do a little doodling. Yeah. yeah. Let's see see what we get here. Some little hats for everyone too, yeah? He's gonna get some hats. If you send those to me, I'll put them on your heads. Oh, okay. Yeah, Ooh. so everybody can have a little cowboy hat. Yeah. I get a fez. Of course. Yeah. It'll look perfect. Very yeah, exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Magni art equals oh. <laughs> and in the meantime, right. I've got a lot of a lot of preparing I gotta do to get to yes. see where these three go on their journey into the West. Alrighty, same we'll time next and see. day. Same tomorrow. time tomorrow. Exactly yeah. same Alrighty. time. Now, thank you, I will thank you. say, you're welcome. Now, the session tomorrow is going to be much longer than this, by the way. Yep. Probably be something akin to like four hours or something like that. I'm good to go. You ready I'm ready. Prepared. I'll have my snackies. Get your snacks. Yeah. Get your drinks. And my and my trough. Ready? Yeah, yeah. That's good right. to go. Your trough? Your, your trough? <laughs> I guess it's... Maybe no like horses, a, right? a water skin. No, no, there are horses in this world. I was just fucking around. You uh, mean like a water okay. skin to Thank drink goodness. from? Yeah. No, we all ride on donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> all Chocobos. donkeys. Chocobo what we Chocobos. can do <laughs> is we can stand on my gun. What? And I can... Like we can put like a wooden plate on top of my gun, and, and you, you can hold, return it. You hold the back of my coat, and I, I like lean forward. I have my hand out, with my holster, and he can like use the gun to propel us forward. What the f <laughs> How are you thinking of these things? What is this? Oh, it always returns to him. <laughs> my gun is yeah. like Mjolnir's hammer. All right. Well, at least you're thinking. You know that that's, that's good. Meta. TTRPG. It's good to think. <laughs> I guess. I mean, oh, we're gonna think of interesting ways to use our abilities. I can tell. Indeed, but I think yeah. if you know what, you guys seem like you'll be good at you'll you'll be good at this. So I'm not too worried actually. Um, but you're gonna have to think outside the box, and if that's something you're not used to doing, you got you better get used to doing it. Oh yeah. So okay. get ready for that. Um, oh giggity. So Woo. everybody get excited, get lots of rest because this is the West. And um, we're gonna, we got work to do tomorrow, so. And the West is dying. The West is dying. The West is dying. Gosh, it's dying. But we're putting some cowboys in there, some cowpokes, seeing how they fare. 
uh, seeing what they're gonna do. And uh, with yes, that sir. being said, <clears throat> y'all got any announcements for the folks at home? Good for me. Nada. Yeah. Nada? Really? Nothing? Yep. Fucking nothing? Nada. Come on, throw me a bone, man. Stuff is cooking, but like I don't have a date set yet. Right? Gotcha. Oh, I, I, I kind of, I actually do. Ooh. I, um, I announced you. this. I announced this on my stream already, but I'm actually getting a 1.5 touch up. <gasps> yes. Ooh. Yeah. Let's go. Hell yeah. Hey. Congratulations. That's huge. Thank you. Let's freaking Which, go. Uh, if, if people don't know what I'm talking about, it's like a slight change to the way I look. So, and 1.5 implies like slight. Because mm. like a, a very large change would be you know something like 2.0 or something. So mm -hmm. that's coming soon. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Look forward to it, you guys. I've already seen Hell it because yeah. I'm nosy. Because <laughs> I'm nosy. I have seen it. <laughs> yeah, I, I went and did a little Ooh. investigating myself, <laughs> and I found Interesting. it. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so I guess that's all. Um, with that being said, you guys. Um, I'm I'm your Mori, that's Crony, that's Magni Desmond, and that's Vesper Noir. And we'll see you guys later for some, some cow poke and fun tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. All right. That was fun. Thank you. Yeah. yeah thank Take care, you, you guys. Later. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Peace. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.